episode number five of Is It a Great Deal? Comps 101, where Jamil and I are going to do our best to help you understand what makes a great deal. So you know what you need to do. Stand by. Let's get it. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get that bag. Hello guys, this is Ty, aka The Flip Man, and welcome to Comps 101, episode number five. Cinco! Oh, <laughs> I have my man uh, Jamil here. Uh, he's out in LA today. Yes, sir. Uh, and, but we're still getting it in for you guys. So what's going on, Jamil? Man, you know what? I'm just enjoying the sea breeze. Um, I'm out here shooting some content, hanging out with some of my uh, students, and uh, just putting my feet in the sand in the ocean, man. I'm I'm taking a little, a little, a few days in between uh, to recharge, and that's fun. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, uh, just to give a, give a little idea of what we're doing here, uh, our goal is to help you understand what a great deal is. That's where it all starts and stops with real estate. If you can consistently find great real estate deals, you don't ever have to be broke or financially strapped. That's my definition of why we're here. Jamil, yours. Well, the reason I'm here, guys, is because I, I truly believe that the foundation of your wholesale business begins at your capacity to value property. Um, you, can, you can talk to sellers till you're blue in the face. You can talk to buyers until you're blue in the face. But if you don't know what a deal is, if you don't know how to evaluate a property, you're just spinning your wheels, wasting time. And so we're trying to, you know, uh, lessen the learning curve. And I'm showing you exactly how I do it, how we do it at my uh, company, Keegley. And so um, let's go. All right. Now, before we get started, uh, we want to take it over to our sponsor. Ah, these guys again. What's cracking? I'm Jamil Damji, and I was looking for Ask Flip Man all over the internet. I could not find this man to save my life. I was tracking him down, and then I figured out I could skip trace him. And where did I skip trace him at? Skiptoflip.com. Skiptoflip.com. What do you want to tell him? He overpaid. <laughs> you don't have to overpay by simply using the code FLIPMAN. Use code FLIPMAN, guys. 15 cents click. Skips. Skip to flip. Dot com. Guys, guess what? I had to interrupt you, but it's here. The app, Day Later AK Prop Stream, is now available for Apple and Android. This is a game changer. You've been asking for it. I've mentioned it a couple of times. The app is here. I know you can't really see anything here with the glare from my, from my lights, but it is available. So if you already got it, all you got to do is just go to, to whatever device you have, whether it's Android or, or an Apple phone, iPhone or whatever, and download it from their, their app stores or Google Play or whatever. But if you did have it and you dropped it, you need to get it back. This is awesome. It is awesome, right? I've been waiting on it. I know you all have been waiting on it, so you got to get it. So the PropStream app is available. Please go to my site, dailylater.com. We can get the five-day free trial. Plus, we'll have a training video on this coming soon, uh, probably within the next day or two after this video. It's going to show you all the great features that it offers. So, again, you can get it now, guys. The app is available, Dailylater, AK Prop Stream. Back to regular programming. And we're back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> how are those guys so handsome <laughs> oh boy uh but uh so we're back so let's get into it okay i'm gonna share my screen oh and uh, a couple of questions we've been having in the comments um i guess i need to throw the rules up i'll have it edited um i think you have a written on the on the on the blackboard on the on the video that you originally did in the video on your channel I'm going to get it done where it's printed, where it's a little easier to re read or whatever. I'll get you to send it over. So 
at some point during this video and the future videos, we'll throw that up or whatever. So you can, you guys can write it down. Then maybe one of the videos in the future will go through it or whatever. So, but you can always go back and watch the original video that Jamil did on the comps 101 or whatever. So I'll cool. put it in the link, uh, link in the description of this video. Hey, also, don't you have a, a, a site that they can go to now that they can submit deals for us to comp? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, the way we've been doing it now, deals that have been, that, that have been coming through dealerlater.com. So people have been asking, how can we submit deals that we can comp for you? So what we're going to do is you can go to comps101.com. That's comps101.com. So comps101.com. The link will be in the description and in the comment section of this video and future video. This is episode number five. So uh, let me get an address for you. So we're going to start with one of the uh, properties that someone did submit over to us after they followed my instructions. And that particular address is 1106 Park Avenue. Chesapeake, Chesapeake, Virginia, <laughs> two three three two four. Chesapeake, 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 Chesapeake. All right. Okie dokie, I like it. All right, so um, again, guys, we're gonna take a look at the hints, right? What are the hints? Um, the estimates one twenty two, about one hundred and twenty three thousand. Okay, uh, so that's cool. I, I, I'm, I don't. We all know that the estimates can be totally out to lunch. Um, but that's just a starting point. We got a two bed, one and a half bath, 1309 square foot house. Uh, so typically what I do guys is I just save it here so that Zillow will let me view it in the map later, but I'm going to scroll down a little bit and see that we have a home built in 1924. It's a single family house with a detached garage and a 5,575 square foot lot. Now, Let's see what else we got. Closing this up and, uh, you know, hopefully Zillow can, uh, it's not giving me my heart like it should. Maybe it will this time. No. So here's my, here's my property, guys. My subject, it's a two bed, one, one and a half bath, 1309 square feet. What do we got here? We got a three bed, two bath, beside it, 1749 square feet, so too large. This is a 1982 square feet. What's this? 1784 again. Ooh, I like this. So we have a three bed, two bath, 1500 square footer sold for 182 in 2019. This is obviously a remodel, a very, very quaint remodel. They've done a nice job here but it is within a couple hundred square feet. It does have an extra bed and an extra bath, or at least an extra bed. So, so that's gonna have some value, and it's a little bit larger. So right off the hop, this is telling me if I'm gonna adjust down in price, um, I'm starting to feel like the ARV of ours is around 150, but I'm going to continue looking uh, a little bit closer to see what I can find. That's too big, that's too big. Um, that's low value. So, you know, not liking that. Uh, what else do I got here? Here's a three bed, two bath. Okay. All right. So this is a one bedroom, one bedroom, uh, bigger, but smaller. So potentially ours could be reconfigured. It also has a detached garage. It sold for 168,000 in 2019. So let's look at your built, same, same. garage, a lot lots a little bigger, but guys, this is our comp. This is our comp right here. So now I'm up at about 170. So what do we got over here? Um, that's a 170, 1400 square footer. There's a 193, that's too big. Um, I think that's it, Ty, I think, I think we can call it. I think it's 170,000 square foot uh, ARV, uh, $170,000 ARV um, on that property. That's my final answer. And he has it on the contract for 50. Buy it! Yeah. Buy it! That's a deal. That's a deal. All right. Yeah. Next.
All right. All right, so what we got here? Okay. All right, the next one is uh, in Atlanta. Um, 1111 uh, Lockout Avenue Northwest. The zip is 30318. Lockout, one word, two words? One word. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna like that address. Let's 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 go to the let's go to yeah, Google. Google one 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 lockout. Yeah, lockout. Um, <coughs> Avenue Northwest. Mm, I'm gonna just check one other thing on my phone, but that could be a mistype. All right, let me let me double check here. All that research I did. Uh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Look out. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, boy. Hey, hey. boy. It'll, it'll, help. It'll, it'll help if the uh, narrator provides some accurate information. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now that we've got that figured out, guys, we have no estimate. So Zillow has absolutely no idea it's a two bed one bath a thousand and twenty eight square foot and not that it matters but the 2019 assessed value is forty six thousand seven hundred uh let's take a look down here remember i'm going to save this just so that zillow will show me the map later um and this was a single family house built in 1940 on an 8400 square foot lot it does have a detached garage Cool. So small guy, two bed, one bath, 1,028 square feet. Let's see what we got. So uh, it didn't want to give me my heart. So I'm going to go back again and maybe it'll give me my heart this time. Zillow is a little weird, guys. Oh, there it is. Hey, oh, hey, cool. hey, there we go. Um, what do we got here? So here's a three bed, one bath, 1,391 square feet. So larger that sold for 60. Let's look. In 2018 and it sold uh, for 60 in trashed condition so uh, that's not gonna help us let's keep looking here's a three one or three it must have at least one bath otherwise I don't know where they're gonna do their business um, 19 916 square footer uh, sold it looks like a piece of dirt so mm -hmm. hey there's something to notice it's a half acre piece mm -hmm. of dirt uh, sold for 90 grand, but again, way larger than our lot, so not a comp. Um, let's continue. Um, here we've got a 53, oh, I think I found our comp. Three bed, two bath, 980 square foot, looks, looks to be a very similar style house, uh, sold for 53K in 2019. Now I know we've had about a 10% increase in pricing in Atlanta in the year, so uh, that can't have gone up more than five, maybe, may, let's call it 10 grand. So right off the hop, I'm saying we have an ARB of around 60K, Ty. That's where I'm, I'm feeling it. Um, what do we got here? Uh, another little junkie. We don't know what the condition was. Um, and we'll give it a few more options here, a few more uh, lookies. But I think I have my opinion. And my opinion is ARB is going to be 60K for that house and uh so tell me what do they have it under contract at uh on the contract for um uh 85 they they estimated the arv to be uh 220 yeah that is not happening so <laughs> what they've done is they've made the mistake of using this comp here now let's let's see why this one doesn't work or maybe it does let's look closer okay Right. We've got a three bed, two bath, 1280 square footer. Okay. Sold in 2020. I like that. And this is one heck of a remodel. Okay. So, um, but it also looks like this is like a, a rebuild of this house. So I'm going to look down here. It says it's built in 35. It's on a third acre. Um, total renovation. So they have not rebuilt. So, Ty, it's usable. 
you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say i would use that comp i i is it I, really I, close i didn't see how close it was how close it's was close. that it's close right so here's here's our comp and our subject is right here okay comp subject yeah that's close that's cross it's that's close. literally across the street <laughs> it's literally across the street you know my go-to in my head was that's an outlier but um you know i think that it's a usable comp and now now we've got to adjust we're missing a bath we've got 200 extra square feet where we have an extra bed so so 220 is absolutely not the the arv i think we can adjust down to around um 185. okay so so at, eight, so at 85 um that's it's still not a deal school. it's still at, a deal it's, it's a deal yep yeah because the the, the rehab on the thousand left basically 1100 square feet wouldn't be that much nope i think they got a deal i think that's yeah. a deal okay all right so um great great awesome let's keep it going all right one more okay um let me see. All right. Uh, 1020 Southwest 101st Avenue. 101. Miami? First. Yeah, 33174. Miami, the sexiest city in America. Miami throwing. Miami, Miami. Okay, so we got a three bed, two bath, uh, 2,160 square footer. Zillow believes it's worth $449,000. Uh, okay, let's keep looking. Single family house built in 1961 on a 75, almost 7,600 square foot lot. Uh, three bed, two bath, 2,160 guys. Let's look at it. And again, Zillow, uh, in its fashion, has missed giving me my heart, so I will do this again. Um, there we go. There we are. So that's our 449. The first things first, um, you notice how we do not have a, a lot of high sales here, right? So just, just seeing that, I do got a 460 there. And how big are we? 2160. Okay. 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 So there's, there's one. It's sold in 18, but, but um, that tells me that we're north of 460. Okay. North of 460. Right off that comp. That is a big lot though. Let's just double check that lot because that lot could be, okay, 0.3 acres. And now ours is, um, not ours is 75 so it said like double the square feet mm. all right so i i'm gonna i'm gonna look at that comp i'm gonna take it into consideration but um it is on a large lot so it's not apples to apples it's more like an apple to an apple pear then we got a three bed two bath 1355 square footer sold for 410 in june 2020 so much smaller than ours mm -hmm. so that tells us we're way north of 400 and 10 uh, and all this data is the same so again that pushes me up to you know 450 right where that said this estimate was isn't that something mm. okay um, what else do we got here we got this Ooh, that looks like our comp that's still old now okay guys check it out now look at the look at these pictures this isn't a remodeled house this is junky donkey mm -hmm. sold for 435 same square footage in 2017 um, so again, reconfirms that we are north of 450. And here we go. Let's see what the condition of this house was. Doesn't show. Newer comp, same square footage, uh, sold for 436. 76 built. Yeah, a lot, lot just a bigger. little bit, a little bigger. Yeah. Lots a little bigger. Um, but I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I believe that we might even be able to hit 475 on ours just due to square footage and condition. But I'm gonna call it, let's just go in the middle and call it a 460 ARV. What do they have it under contract at, Ty? 362. 
So I got a 460 ARV, they got a 360 buy price. That's 100K in Miami. I would work it, but I would definitely need an inspection period. It's not a slam dunk. It's mm -hmm. more of a half court shot. <laughs> Damn, how many chances? <laughs> hey, I mean, 10, you got how many days of inspection? <laughs> um, I don't know, good question, good question. Right? Yeah. All right. Um, so we got one more. Um, this is in my neck of the woods. Um, five six one two. Uh, Merwood Court. Spell it. Uh, M E R Wood W O O D Court. Three six six one nine Mobile, Alabama. Hey oh. Mobile. Three bed, two bath. 1777 get to vegas and and bet on the sevens 1777 square feet we have a zillow estimate of 128 839 and let's see what else let's save it although i know this isn't going to make a difference because it's going to make me do it again but you know for consistency single family built in 80 0.3 acres three bed two baths 1777 let's see what we got um, again, just going to do this one more time for Zillow to work. It's funny how technology is so tricky. There we go. There's our 129. Um, so let's look around here. It's 160 sold in 18. Um, it's bigger, so I'm not going to use it, but it just gives me an indication of pricing. So. So we are sub 160. Um, what about that 135? Right? Look at this 135. Oh, that's good. That's a good comp. That's now, good. it looks like it's nice and clean on the outside, too. Mm -hmm. So this has been renovated. Um, mm -hmm. This comp. is our comp. This is our comp. So this is about 100 square feet smaller. So we're going to be north of 135. So I'm going to call it 150. That's it. It's a 150 ARV. All right, they got it for 63. Lock it up. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, we went through four properties here uh, for this episode of Comps 101, episode number five. Before we get out of here, Jamil, you got to work. Just keep doing it, guys. The more you practice this, the better unshare, you get at it. Un unshare your screen. Oh, all right. I'll stop. stop. The more you guys practice it, the better you'll get at it. Um, and this is absolutely going to help your business. We've been seeing guys submit some pretty decent deals here. So uh, for those viewers that have submitted, um, I hope you've locked those deals up. And uh, for those of you that uh, are submitting, uh, continue to do so, so that we can help uh, educate you and your fellow brothers and sisters in this business. Thanks for watching. Boom. Oh, before we get out of here, you know, we got to go over to... Those guys. What's cracking? I'm Jamil Damji, and I was looking for Ask Flip Man all over the internet. I could not find this man to save my life. I was tracking him down, and then I figured out I could skip trace him. And where did I skip trace him at? Skiptoflip.com. Skiptoflip.com. What do you want to tell him? He overpaid. <laughs> you don't have to overpay by simply using the code FLIPMAN. Use code FLIPMAN, guys. 15 cents click skips. Skip to flip.com. And we're back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we really appreciate you um, participating. Again, you can submit your deals to comps101.com. Submit your deals there. And, you know, obviously we can't evaluate every deal, but we're going to try to do our best to knock out as many as possible, depending on how many are submitted. So we're here to try to help. Um, as we like to always say, uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. cash. Get that bag.